The latest Operation Festival event is here and there seems to be some significant changes since the last one. Firstly, there are a few new skins that's been introduced in this event. The Nebula Wings for 30 days, giving hero final damage for 1.5%. The Astral Voyager Sentinel, giving troop lethality and troop health of 3% each. The Stellar Shuttle HQ skin, giving troop attack of 2%. The Star Seeker March skin, giving 5% additional March skin against infected only. The Cosmic Halo Frame skin, giving troop defense of 2%. The Stellar Scope Decoration, giving you research speed and construction speed of 5% each. And finally, the Celestial Sephir, giving you a heck of a lot of stats. I mean, for me personally, I'll definitely be going for the Astral Voyager Sentinel and the Cosmic Halo Frame skin, but the rest seem stuff only for super high spenders. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of State of Survival at Wacker Rush Gaming. In today's video, I'm going to try to talk through some of the changes that's happened in this event. I personally see how the developer has made this event more expensive and I personally don't like it, but I'm sure the top spenders would not mind. The key materials in this event are the Crimson Gem, Flawless Pearls, the Restoration Ships, and last but not least, the Battle EXP, where previously you will be needing to rank high in this event to grab several of the skins rewards. The introduction of the Crimson Gem means now the premium rewards need to be exchanged in the Festival Bazaar. In order to obtain the Crimson Gem, you need to play the circuit repair. There are roughly 110 Crimson Gems that you can obtain when you have repaired the circuit for 111 times. Separately, that's a lot of repairs, so if you want to go for a specific item in the Festive Bazaar, I suggest you plan ahead. To repair the circuit this many times, you will need a lot of restoration chips, so in my honest point of view, the restoration chips has become a very important part of this event. I am specifically tempted to grab the HQ skin as part of the HQ skins collection and the sky wheel. I am not too fascinated about the rest at this point. The guardian skin effect is temporary, so if you want to follow the smart gorilla, I will suggest that you skip the guardian skin effect altogether. You are going to get the flawless pearls when completing these circuit repairs. If you are chasing for morale, then be careful. The developers dropped Gacha Bunny Classic and Premium HQ skins, but they are not part of the skins collections as of right now. So I don't understand why you want to spend their precious flawless pearls on them in their quest for higher morale. However, if you are a low spender, the best way you can help your team is by having stronger aircraft formation and stronger gorillas. So whatever flawless pearls you have collected, you should use them to get the formation systems custom crate or the behemoth cells mk1 serums and bio batteries next jumping into the battle plan window there is the epic crate for four dollars and 99 cents and the legendary crate for nine dollars and 99 cents i always suggested to get these and it's no different here the rewards in them are always one of the best value for money in these events if you don't get anything else however you need battle xp to progress and these can be obtained by most players in the task challenge event page there are daily task challenges to complete for more flawless pearls and restoration chips. However, more restoration chips and battle EXP can be obtained via the activity tab, so make sure you complete it all daily. If you want more restoration chips and battle EXP, there are bundles. There are always bundles in State of Survival. You have the Shining Splendor bundle primarily for the flawless pearls, and you also have the Cosmic Odyssey bundles. The Cosmic Odyssey bundles has Cosmic Halo frame skin, some restoration chips, some flawless pearls, some battle EXPs, and and some plasma cores. Now, this spending event also comes timely with another limited top up event, topping up to 900,000 biocaps, which is equivalent to $1,800 across the seven days, will reward you with all these rewards. However, before we talk more about this, I want to tell you about this amazing offer from Paxify. If you have never used Paxify before, you can try it completely for free today. I'm not joking here, completely free. For example, this bundle could cost you literally nothing. Zero Zero cost, high rewards, no risk. Make sure to click in the link in the description below to grab your free bundle. You know what's the best part? The amazing offer continues. Paxify offers incredible first deposit bonus. Thanks to this amazing offer, you can earn up to $410 in bonuses. Thank you Paxify for sponsoring this video. Now let's talk about how you're going to get the Sentinels. Sadly, there are only two ways to get the Sentinels. Firstly, through the surprise task. There are a number of challenges from the surprise task. Valkyria 
from my Cobra Kai Alliance in the PTR server chat these. Thank you to Valkyria. The second way is the spending way. You have the Astral Voyager crates from $4.99 up to $49.99. The crates give you anywhere between 1 to 4 Astral Voyager Sentinel fragments and you will need 20 in total. Finally, for the brawling operations, the developers made this event now pretty poop. If the initiator has the Sentinels activated and summons a Frenzy Officer, then all the team members joining the rally will get 200% more rewards. The rewards being restoration chips with extremely limited number of attempts per day. So this part has really been nerfed so hard that it feels like a huge effort for really very little rewards. However, try to get your leads with Sentinels and plan ahead so you all can maximize the rewards for your alliance. Well, that's all folks. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you do, please smash the subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on your notifications bell for more amazing videos. Thank you. Goodbye.